Hi, I'm Atul. I'm in East London. Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm in South West London. We'll be talking about multiples. Uh, a multiple is the result of multiplying by an integer. We'll explore the multiples of three using both dots and quizzes. So I'm going to call this one lot. One lot of three. So how many dots do you see in total? I see three dots. This can also be shown using a quiz and error. So using the dots, uh, can you show me what two lots of three looks like? Sure. And how many dots do you see in total now? In total, I see six dots. Can you show me what that looks like with the rocks? Yes. Can you show me what three lots of three looks like with the dots? And that gives us a total of? Total of nine. And you can show that to me with the rods as well. Yeah. Great. The next one in the sequence? Um, that would be four lots of three. Let's do that. Okay. That gives us a total of? There's 12 dots altogether. Brilliant. So these are our multiples of three. There you go. Great. Um, so often when I do something like this, I have children who ask me whether they can have multiples of three that are smaller. What's your response to that question? Um, yes. You can have negative multiples. For now, we're just looking at the positive integer multiples of three. But since multiples are the result of multiplying by an integer, you can, of course, you can multiply by a negative integer and end up with a smaller multiple. But that's, that's all for later. Great, perfect. Brilliant, so yeah, this is just uh, a video in a series of videos on multiples, primes, and factors. So we'll be recording a couple of other ones and uh, look forward to doing that. Fantastic. Look forward to that. Bye. Bye.